Magic Mountain is supposed to have some of the most frightening roller coasters around. But for three young Latino boys, fear was felt before they even got in the gate. They were scared, they were confused, and I think uh, they were really very angry. I mean, they wanted to go to Magic Mountain that day and they were sent home. ACLU attorney Sharon Robinson says the boys came to Magic Mountain with some friends and family members, a group of eight. They had no weapons, they posed no threat, but as they were heading into the park, security guards stopped them. They chose three Latino youths out of this group and um, I took them into a small room and interrogated them. They said, you guys are, are, are gang bangers. We don't want your kind around here. Um, you're never to return. They were threatened with arrest. Uh, they said they'd be arrested for trespass if they ever came back to Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain has had its share of trouble. Just recently, there was a melee at the park after there weren't enough seats to go around at a rock concert. After a gang fight in 1985 where six people got stabbed, Magic Mountain began screening its visitors in an attempt to weed out troublemakers. They have a legitimate concern with security in the park. And, and, and indeed, they should you know, be watchful for that kind of thing. But in this instance, they just arbitrarily chose three kids out of a big group and excluded them really when they had no justification to do so. The ACLU says the civil lawsuit filed against Magic Mountain isn't an attempt to get money, but an attempt to stop Magic Mountain from doing something they feel is very wrong. The three boys came to the park to play, but apparently based solely on how they were dressed, ended up going on a very unpleasant ride.